Welcome to CoinSwap Tutorials. My name is Armin and I'm guiding you through different processes which you may struggle with in uh, CoinSwap. And in today's tutorial I would like to talk about uh, providing liquidity. It is an opportunity to earn passively from the market from transaction fees. So without further ado, let's start with the tutorial. So when you have uh, connected your uh, wallet to CoinSwap and you would like to provide liquidity, you have to go to LP Manager and you can find it uh, here on the dashboard and you can also find it on the left menu. So let's uh, click that and here you can start adding liquidity. But uh, first I would like to mention a few things. Uh, every transaction, every swapping uh, transaction that is uh, done in uh, CoinSwap, there is a transaction fee uh, 0.2%. Uh, so let me go to swapping and uh, show you. Uh, let me just uh, choose random uh, random uh, pair here and let me go here. So at the bottom we see that uh, liquidity provider fee. Right now it's 0 0.0008517. So every swapping transaction has a 0.2% uh, transaction fee and 0.17% is being uh, divided between those who provide the liquidity. So it is an opportunity to earn passively if you decide to provide liquidity to any pairs available in uh, swapping. So let's go back to LP Manager and uh, let's uh, start adding uh, liquidity. So just uh, click add liquidity. And you have to add uh, two assets here. And uh, important uh, to note is that uh, they have to be equal amount. So you have to have from the total amount, you have to have 50% in one asset and 50% in another asset. So for example, if I would like to provide uh, liquidity, liquidity in uh, BNB worth uh, 200 uh, bucks, the second uh, asset has to also be, I have to have it uh, also at the same value, so 200 bucks. In this example, I'm going to switch a little bit. So I would like to provide uh, liquidity to CSS and PUSD pool. So I'm going to choose CSS. So choose the first uh, asset and then uh, choose the other asset. I'm going to choose PUSD. So if I would like to add them, I have to have uh, the same amount. The value has to be the same uh, with CC and also PUSD. As the price right now, is uh, 21.39 uh, cents, uh, which, mean, which means that uh, I have less CSS than uh, PUSD. So I would uh, like to provide maximum CSS. So let's uh, click max. Of course, you can uh, choose uh, your specific amount by just entering the number manually. And with 2.55 CSS, I also have to add 54.74 PUSD to the pool. So this is really important to understand that you have to have 50% one asset and 50% other asset. They have to be equal. But here I would like to mention one important thing and it is called impermanent loss. Uh, you're not losing anything, uh, like you're not losing your funds, but uh, let me explain. So don't uh, worry too much about it. But uh, there is a loss in a way uh, when you when the value increases, but uh, let me explain. So let's say you add uh, 100 bucks worth of CSS and 100 bucks worth of uh, BUSD to the pool. So they are equal amount. And now people st start to buy CSS. So the, va the amount of CSS goes lower. It means that BUSD is going higher. And that also means that uh, the price of CSS is going higher because they have to always be equal. 50% of the pool is here, 50% of the pool is here. So let's say uh, the balance is already like that. So we have 120 USD worth of PS, PUSD. So the amount of CSS is lower, but it's still worth 120 USD because those uh, two have to be 50-50, uh, they have to be equal. So in a way you have like earned more because at the, at the beginning you had 200, uh, 200 uh, USD worth of uh, worth of uh, assets but now you have uh, 240 USD worth of ass assets because you have uh, 120 USD and you have to have so the system uh, 
makes that uh, you will have the same amount or in same value CSS, so 120 uh, USD. But then where this loss is uh, coming into play, if you would have, because right now you put your CSS to this liquidity pool, you have less CSS, which means that if you would just hold your CSS, you will have the same amount, but the price uh, was increasing. So the value of your CSS is higher than uh, your current, uh, current CSS value. Although, of course, you get something back from the PUSD because you now have more PUSD. But yes, the value of your CSS is now low, lower than, would, uh, than uh, compared to what you would have if you would just hold. Because if you would hold, you have still the same amount CSS, but now you have less CSS. So that's, that's where the loss is uh, coming into play, so-called loss. So compared to if you would just hold, you would actually get a little bit more. But I'm seeing it the way that uh, like you are constantly selling. Uh, so the price increases, then you have your sell there. Price increases, you have the sell there. So if you don't know at which point you would like to sell your CSS, this uh, liquidity pool is actually a pretty good uh, option that you are constantly selling. So the price goes higher, again, you sell a little bit, price goes higher, you sell a little bit because the amount itself uh, changes uh, quite a little. So for example, you have uh, 10, 10 uh, CSS, then you have like 9.5 and so on. So you constantly like selling and you are earning PUSD. So this is uh, the impermanent uh, loss I wanted to mention. So uh, bear this in mind if you decide to provide liquidity and it, it's impermanent because when the price goes again to the same level you entered, you actually didn't lose anything. You just uh, got uh, those transaction fees and uh, nothing, nothing else. So your, both of your uh, assets actually increased because those transaction fees are paid to equally to both uh, those um, assets. But if you take your, if you take your um, Liquidity, if you take your assets out from the liquidity pool, if the price was uh, increasing, then you will have, will have a little bit less uh, CSS, but you would have uh, more PUSD. I forgot to mention one thing that it also works the opposite. So if the price of C CSS goes lower, it means that uh, the amount of PUSD you have goes also lower. You, so you start from 100 PUSD and let's say you have now 80 BUSD, but uh, then you will have uh, more C CSS. So you get more CSS than you actually put into the pool. But also uh, your total value, the total value of your pool is lower because if you have 80 BUSD, it means uh, CSS is also, the total value of your CSS is also 80 uh, bucks. But uh, as I mentioned, you will have more CSS. And if you would uh, take out from uh, liquidity pool and then the price increases, you actually uh, earn more because you have more CSS. And if now the price increases, the value of your holdings is higher. So it works uh, both way. And like I mentioned, when uh, price goes higher, it is like you're selling constantly. Now, if the price goes lower, it's like you're buying constantly uh, more CSS. But yes, your the total value of your pool is also going lower lower and lower. But when the price goes back up, then uh, you are not losing anything there. So that uh, concludes the impermanent uh, loss. And uh, now back to tutorial. So we are going uh, with the 2.55 CSS and uh, 54.63 BUSD. So they are equal in value. Here you also will see the, how much share of the pool you will get because uh, the transaction fee is, uh, is uh, distributed to this pool and this is the share you get for every time somebody uh, uses this pair to swap their tokens. And if you haven't approved any of the, the assets, if you are using uh, this asset the uh, first time in uh, CoinSwap, uh, you also have to approve it in your wallet. So you have to give access to CoinSwap to use your uh, assets from your wallet. And then you will have uh, this kind of uh, option uh, there too. But as I have already used uh, both of them, I don't have to do it again. 
you have to do it only once so you confirm the access to your to your assets and then you don't have to do it again after you have approved then uh, just uh, click supply and here you will also get some details and whenever you buy uh, whenever you provide liquidity to liquidity pool uh, you will get uh, LP tokens and uh, right now those LP tokens will be CSS PS PUSD pool tokens and I'm getting uh, 11.68 LP uh, tokens those tokens you can uh, later on if you provide the liquidity you can later on uh, use in farming but uh, this will be another uh, tutorial video how to use uh, farming this in this video I'm not going to show you that so if you're interested you can watch the tutorial about uh, farming anyway you have to confirm and of course you again need to confirm it on your wallet and as always with every transaction you do in CoinSwap there is a small transaction fee in BNB so always note that you have to have enough BNB on your uh, wallet whenever you do any kind of transaction in uh, CoinSwap so let's uh, confirm it in our MetaMask and then uh, close it here and now we can uh, see we should see our uh, LP tokens down here so let's wait a little bit and uh, we have uh, we get a no confirmation that uh, adding uh, CSS and PS PUSD to the pool uh, is confirmed and also we have now those here so I have uh, 11.68 LP tokens and I also see how much uh, I have in the pool so right now I have uh, 2. 55 CSS and 54.61 PUSD I believe it's already a little bit, little bit different because as soon as you add this uh, liquidity it starts to change so the balance starts to starts to start to change like I mentioned when I talked about the uh, impermanent loss and whenever you want to check your balances you can uh, do that easily by going to LP manager and usually you will see it uh, here automatically and if not you can uh, click import it and uh, choose the peer from here so PUSD and then uh, CSS in our example so in case you don't uh, see your your liquidity here you can uh, just click import it and uh, add them manually here and then you can open it and you will uh, see that uh, then you see the amount of assets you have in the pool and here you have also options uh, do you want to add more to the pool by just clicking it then choosing the amounts and also you can uh, take uh, out from the pool if you click uh, remove you can uh, choose how much you want to take out so in percentage and you will also see the amount in uh, CSS and of course if you have different pairs you will see different uh, different uh, currencies here but in our example I see CSS and PUSD and how much I will get so if I would uh, take everything this is the amount I would uh, get but like I mentioned it uh, changes constantly because the balance is always uh, changing and the bigger percentage from the pool you have the more you earn from the transaction fee so let me go back here your pool share right now it's too small it even uh, doesn't uh, show right now so if I would have more I would have bigger share of the pool and then I would uh, get whenever people swap their tokens 0.17% uh, is being divided between the pool uh, shareholders so uh, that's it for this tutorial shortly to, uh, to add liquidity you go LP manager then add liquidity it has to be 50 on one side and 50 percent on other side this you have to always remember and if you want to uh, check what is going on uh, again LP manager you will see uh, your pair here you can add more and you can uh, remove and always you can choose how much you want to remove so you don't have to remove everything at once so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching and uh, we will see each other again already in the next tutorial Happy earnings with CoinSwap. Bye bye.